Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a small electric motor. This motor is based on the force or the, the formula for the force experienced by a particle moving in a magnetic field. Uh, you don't need to know that in order to make it, but that's what it is. If you'd like to know more about things like that, you should look at a previous video that I've made. So, essentially what I have here in front of you is I have a AAA battery, which is on the table. And using uh, using just some electrical tape I have made kind of a, a, a loop on either side of it and the loop goes down to one of the ends of my battery like so. You can ignore this part here that's just there to keep it steady. So essentially I have a loop attached to to let's say the positive end and a loop attached to the negative end and the height of both loops is is is, all, is the same. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a neodymium magnet there it is there I'm going to put that on top of my battery like so and what that will do is that will create a magnetic field in this area oh, <laughs> in this area here and what I'm then going to do is going to get a piece of wire which I've already cut you can just do it, see that there is that in focus it's not really in focus. What you can see here is a is a coil of wire. And literally, what I did was I got my wire, I got my wire, and I wound it around another piece of wire like that, and I made a I made a piece of wire I made a piece of wire with a coil in it, or yeah, with a coil in it. I know you can't see that very well, but anyway. Now the points note in this, my motor is actually quite poor. I have, I only have one type of uh, wire, and I didn't really bother getting uh, strong, heavy wire. So the wire I'm using is very, very, very light. Uh, for that reason, it's not very good in this motor. Okay, it's literally one strand of a small piece of copper wire. But you can play with this yourself, and it, it still works. So, like, once you understand the principles, of course, you can do what you like. Now, the next thing you do is you put your piece of wire along the loops attached to the battery. What led, now you can see it moving, and I'll explain what's after happening in a moment. What's happening is there is current flowing from one end of the wire through the other end. So there is current flowing like this. The current is flowing in a magnetic field, and as a result, due to the vector cross product, you have a force, a force being directed on the, the current flowing through the, through the field and it is deflecting the electrons moving through it in a certain direction. Uh, more about that in a previous video and as a result cause your wire to spin and this is exactly how an alternator in your car is made. I'll give you a close-up now. If it'll work for me sometimes it just doesn't work. Second now, one second. Let's uh, not focus. Come on. I just don't think it's not really working for me today. No. No, it's not really working very well, but the point is the same. I just wanted to put this video up so you can see how you, uh, see how you make a simple motor. And like I said, that is how you make a simple electric motor.